Hi folks, this is just going to be a quick video about my new battery charger that I, I just bought. I've had it now for, I've had it for about a week. I bought it on eBay. It cost me $51.02 and that includes tax and shipping. And this is an Opus BT-C3400 version 2.2 and this is a an intelligent uh, charger intelligent battery charger it charges double-a triple-a and it also charges a bunch of uh, less common types of batteries lithium type batteries lithium ion and uh, Besides lithium ion, it also charges nickel cadmium, it charges nickel metal hydride, and those are the ones it charges. Now, it's got four slots, and each slot can be set to have a different function. So you could be charging one battery in one slot and refreshing a battery in another slot. Uh, you could be doing an analysis of a battery in a, in a third slot and something else in the last slot. And you can charge one, two, three, or four at a, at a time with this. Uh, a lot of battery charges, from what I have been led to believe, will only do two or four. And this one will do one up to four at the same time. Now, <clears throat> these are the instructions it comes with. It's just this one little piece of paper here. And it kind of explains what uh, these modes do. Uh, it's got several modes. I'm going to read them. It's got the charge mode, discharge mode, discharge refresh mode, charge test mode, quick test mode, and you can select the amount of current that it uses. Uh, for nickel metal hydride, you can have 200 milliamps, 300, 500, 700, or 1,000. And for lithium batteries, you can have uh, all those settings up to, you can also have 1,500 milliamps or 2,000 milliamps. So, it's got a whole lot of different settings. Uh, it's actually somewhat challenging to use this if you're not used to these kind of battery chargers. I've, uh, <clears throat> I've spent some time fooling around with it and I did do a discharge refresh with some batteries with some AA nickel metal hydride but uh, I'm just gonna zoom in on the on the display and we can look at some of what it does but I really can't do a, a tutorial on how to use this thing because I'm still getting used to it so when you first plug this thing in uh, all these settings are they say null meaning there's no battery in there and I'm gonna just install these batteries now you only have a, a limited amount of time to to make changes on this uh, when you first plug it in you have six seconds to make changes or you can also uh, 
change those settings. Now, these batteries are already charged, but so I can change the mode. Now, I could do these individually, but I'm not going to. Let's discharge. Discharge refresh. That's just plain old charge. There's a quick test. Let's quick test these batteries. So what it's showing here is the internal resistance on these batteries. And we have 67, 98, 82, and 75. And so we'll do the change the mode again. So I've got them all flashing again here. And it's on charge again. Now I can change the current. Uh, I can go to 200 milliamps, 300, 500, 700. Now it's on a thousand. Uh, I guess it'll go up to a thousand on these nickel metal hydrides. And so the charge can be set. I don't know why lower charge would be better or higher. I don't really know uh, enough about this to be sure that uh, I know what I'm doing. But anyway, I will get used to it, and then once I do, I'll do another video on this to maybe give people a little bit of an idea about how to use it. But I just thought I'd, I'd show it. Uh, so if you're going to be using rechargeable batteries, I think having a a smart charger is, is better than just having a standard uh, dumb charger. And that's especially true if you're going to be charging lithium batteries because uh, lithium batteries can be dangerous if they're not charged in a proper way. So that's really about it. Thanks for watching.